I always say that works on paper, they are not flat. They are three-dimensional objects, but have a very fragile body. I think what this exhibition really emphasizes is how central the medium of drawing is to artistic practice. And that, of course, can be traced as we look back through the centuries. I'm delighted to introduce Van Eyck to Mondrian, 300 years of collecting in Dresden, a survey of some 60 works on paper from the compendious collections in Dresden that show master drawings, highlights of their collection from the Renaissance to the 21st century. This entire exhibition is composed of works from the collection of the Kupferstich Cabinet. The Kupferstich Cabinet is located in Dresden, in the east of Germany, in a Renaissance castle. In 1720, Augustus the Strong, one of the great electors of Saxony and King of Poland, he decided that an institution which was dedicated to prints and to drawings should be founded. And since then, the collection has been growing by acquiring great works of art, working very closely with artists in the contemporary times, but also always looking back at the past, because this dialogue between the past and the present is something which is very carefully explored in our work at the Kupferstich Kabinett. The Jan van Eyck's portrait of an older man has never traveled over the oceans as it is the only drawing by that foundational artist. It's a very special work. I'm a scholar of the early Renaissance, you know, I have published extensively on that work and explored each time anew. I think that drawing draws us in and captures our attention. One of my favorite pieces in the show is Rembrandt's preparatory study for the abduction of Ganymede. We encounter the artist in his late 20s, and his drawing, really, at this moment, is imbued with bravura and dynamism and great, great energy. It feels that we are just standing behind Rembrandt as he is making the sheet, and we see his pen mark from these very dense areas of hatching that describe the face of Ganymede and the eagle to very, very free swirls that basically just seem to have no representational purpose at all. It really is a masterful work. In the group of GDR works is Carl Friedrich Klaus, the cybernetic reflection. The artist was very exploratory, very experimental with both writing and drawing. He's writing words, some of them are legible and others aren't. Simultaneously, he's drawing dots and they become something three-dimensional as if it's a sculpture. The Morgan is an institution dedicated to the study of drawings from historic works to the contemporary moment. And in this way, we share this belief in the primacy of the medium with the Kufrishti cabinet. One of the really extraordinary effects of this exhibition is to see how well preserved, how well cared for these drawings have been when you are able to get up close to the Verrocchio, to the Van Eyck, to the Holbein, to the Goya, you see the medium on the page, you see the artist's hand, almost as if you're standing behind his shoulder. This exhibition really celebrates close looking and encourages visitors to engage with a medium at the kind of most granular, most personal, most intimate level. I feel, especially in these times, that one can gain great hope by seeing that these types of collections are universes of knowledge, of artistic creation, of things you know, that we are all hoping for, of creativity, that makes it very, very special.